has the details on the move and all new reaction tonight from the Owls. Yanni? Well, as conference realignment continues, you want to be moving on up instead of staying stagnant. In other words, once the music stops in the musical chairs, you want a chair. So when UCF, Cincinnati and Houston left the American for the Big 12, schools like FAU knew they needed to pounce at potential openings in the American. And why is the American more attractive for the Owls? Primarily money and exposure. The league signed an enormous 12 year $1 billion TV deal with ESPN in 2019. So FAU games will be on TV more and their school will be making more money in athletics. The American was just born in 2013 from the downfall of Big East football and collaborating with Conference USA schools. It's also a league with a big geographic footprint that can help with recruiting. Administrators say the visibility is key. I think one, yes, I mean, the, the TV deal alone, the, the exposure um, of being on national television, the number of uh, nationally televised games uh, that, that we uh, currently compete in versus uh, what we might compete in in, in that television package, um, there's a, a, a ocean of difference between them. Going to be on national TV on a regular timetable now. It's not trying to figure out how to find us. It's going to be a chance for us to shine on the national stage. All of you are responsible for that. This institution is getting ready to go somewhere. It's never gone before, and I am thrilled, thrilled today to be a part of it. FAU has been a D1 program since 1993, first in the Atlantic Sun, then the Sun Belt in 2004, and Conference USA since 2013. Again, the six teams joining the American beginning that year are FAU, Charlotte, North Texas, Rice, Alabama, Birmingham, and Texas San Antonio. The Owls, by the way, play football tonight at Charlotte. I'm Yanni Krakus, WPBF 25 Sports.